What's up everyone? I'm Ronnie Wood. This is Cooking For You and Me. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a simple and beautiful scallop dish using fresh sea scallops, shaved asparagus salad, and pea puree. You guys are going to love this dish, so stay tuned. You and me, we like the same kind of music. That's why we make a good you and me. So we want to start off by making our shaved asparagus salad. The asparagus salad is super simple. I have these large stalks of asparagus. I'm just going to trim off the ends. Then I'm going to start shaving them. I'm going to hold the tip and just start shaving them down the stalk. So I have my asparagus shaved. Now I want to make a quick lemon dressing. I'm just going to drizzle the top with some olive oil. Add a pinch of salt. Give it about half a tablespoon of lemon zest. Then I'm going to squeeze in the juice of half a lemon. So I'm going to set my asparagus salad to the side. Now I'm going to roughly chop up my shallots. I want about two to three shallots here for my pea puree. And then I'm going to crush four cloves of garlic. I'm going to use two cloves for the scallops and two cloves for the pea puree. Alright, let's go back to the stove and make our pea puree and scallops. In a large pan for the scallops and a small pot for the pea puree, you want to start off with two tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of olive oil in each one. You want to melt the butter with the olive oil until the mixture gives off just a hint of steam. When the butter and olive oil mixture begins to give off just a hint of steam, you want to add two cloves of crushed garlic to your pan and the rest of your garlic and shallots to your small pot. You want to cook the garlic and shallots for about 2-3 to three minutes, making sure to flip the garlic in the pan halfway through and to give the garlic and shallots in the pot a shake a couple times in between. Next we want to take our scallops that have been seasoned with some salt and pepper and gently place them on the outer ring of the pan. The secret to forming that beautiful brown crust in your scallops is to resist the urge to touch them or move them around while they're searing in the pan for about 3 minutes or so. In the meantime, while your scallops are browning, add about one and a half cups of frozen peas to the garlic and shallots in the small pot. Give the peas, shallots, and garlic a nice stir, and then add about half a cup of chicken stock. Bring this to a boil, and then just let it do its thing for about five to six minutes, making sure to give it a few more stirs every now and then. Alright, so my scallops have been browning for about three minutes, and I haven't touched or moved them that entire three minutes. Now I'm going to flip them over, and as you can tell, they have that coveted beautiful brown crust. Next, I'm going to add my rosemary butter bomb and cook the scallops for about 2-3 to three minutes, making sure to spoon some of the melting browned butter on top of the scallops as they're cooking. Always remember that it's always better to have soft, tender, medium rare scallops than hard, chewy, overcooked scallops. As the butter melts, the fresh rosemary spray is going to infuse a subtle but beautiful flavor into the butter, making the scallops extra flavorful and delicious. Now I'm just going to give the pea mixture one last stir just as the scallops are finishing up. Alright, let's head back to the island to give the pea mixture a quick puree and put our scallop dish together. So I have my scallops and my pea puree here. I have one more thing to do with the pea puree. I'm going to give it a nice quick blend with my immersion blender. Alright, let's give these guys a try. They smell so good. The scallops are cooked perfectly, the asparagus salad has that nice brightness from the lemon, and the pea puree just ties everything together. You guys are going to love this recipe. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to email me, and I'll see you guys next time on Cooking For You and Me with Ronnie Wu.